the city's first uh, African-American mayor, mayor and the second woman to hold that office. Prior to that, Candace Hollingsworth served as a city council member for Ward 1. And now she'd like to become a new city or county council member. She joins us now to discuss why she's campaigning for District 2C. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. We just saw the story about that new beer in Hyattsville, and now you want to, uh, as May, you want to become county council member. Talk about why. Hyattsville. Hyattsville. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> well, I want to be council member. So, uh, you know, I've had a great run as mayor. It's been um, a wonderful experience. We've accomplished a lot in a short period of time. And, and, you know, actually my ability to do more to really shape and influence policy and funding um, is a bit constricted in that role. And I think that a role as county council member allows me to address some of the more pressing needs for residents of District 2, Hyattsville, and Prince George's County mm -hmm. overall. Um, I feel that we need leadership that's a bit more effective, uh, more proactive, more competent. Um, and if anything, you know, more than parenting, I think public service is probably one of the greatest responsibilities that we have. Um, on this earth, and if anything, it's a performance sport. So tell and us a little bit we about need a court, better quarterback. Uh, tell us a little bit about your accomplishments as mayor, and and also well, you were on the city council as well. Yes, I was on a city council for four years, representing Ward One. Um, this is my first term as mayor. The greatest accomplishment, I believe, is that we have elevated the expectations of local government. Um, our residents ex have come to expect transparency and openness. They've come to expect to be par participants in local government and the decisions that we make, while we also do things that are of consequence to the community with regards to economic development and passing legislation that may impact the lives of residents across the city. Talk about the issues as you see it for county council, for the, for the council, for the county. <laughs> Let's get that right. <laughs> for the county, you know, we are actually, we have a tremendous opportunity to get right what many jurisdictions across the country are mm -hmm. actually struggling to correct, and that is to ensure that the benefits of economic development extend to everyone. Um, and in order to do that, we really have to maximize opportunities for transit-oriented development to ensure that we have um, housing and that people have access to opportunity across the region, that we have an education system that is first choice and world class, um, that we stabilize our older and traditional communities through uh, code enforcement and compliance. And lastly, especially in District 2, that we invest in the arts and the Gateway Arts District at a level that is commensurate with its contribution to local economy. Now, Hyattsville is one of only two sanctuary cities in the state, and also you um, allow undocumented immigrants to vote in the municipal elections. Um, you have a very large immigrant population. How would you work with that um, to expand it to the entire district? Um, you know, the demographics of Hyattsville are not too dissimilar from those of the district, so I don't see very much changing in that regard. Uh, it is always important to me that we include as many voices at the table as possible, and whether that is through how we communicate with others, how they participate with government, um, and how they see themselves reflected in the programs and services that are provided, that those are all important and equally important to me and objectives that I intend to carry out as a council member as well. You talk about the importance of transparency in your campaign, why that's so important. Talk about that a little bit. You know, when you're in office, it's very difficult at times for people to know exactly why you make every single mm -hmm. decision that mm -hmm. you make. Um, and it's important for people to be able to see you know, what is it that this person believes in? So that even when I'm not in the room, I can trust that my voice is carried with you. Um, and so the transparency and the openness means that I can share with my residents what's on my mind, what I'm thinking, and what, what, where my decisions are leading. Mm -hmm. um, and I can also be a person so they get to understand why I make the decisions that I make and how I speak on their behalf. What do you think are some of the most pressing issues right now for the county and for the district? Um, it's, it's the same as before, transit-oriented development, economic development, ensuring that everyone can feel the benefits of it, that we don't leave anyone behind um, because the jurisdictions around us are struggling with that and I think we have an opportunity to get it right even though that window is ever so narrow, we still have the room to do it. And talk about the issue with schools, that's been a big issue here in the, in the county, a lot of issues going on, controversies. Mm -hmm. What could you do to help correct what's going wrong? You know, so I have a master's in public policy that is, has a focus on education, mm -hmm. family, and social policy. Um, so I'm always keeping my eye towards solutions. 
I think the real tragedy here is that we have a number of young people who are in front of hiring managers and admissions counselors who question whether or not they earned the degrees that they have. It's enough to be in front of those people and be black or brown. It's enough to be in front of those people and be of little means. It's enough to be in front of those people and be from a county and be proud to be from a county that mm -hmm. no one else can appreciate quite the way that we do. And I think that to, for us to not have people who are proposing solutions that address ways that we can have young people entering kindergarten with early learn early language acquisition that those who are not performing on grade level and at levels eight and nine can get on grade level and above and to ensure that everyone is leaving with respect to credential I think those are the solutions that I'll be working towards um, and helping to support the school board member in order to be able to accomplish those all right Miss Hollingsworth thank you so much for joining us and you can uh, meet Miss Hollingsworth this Sunday March 18th at the Mediterranean Cafe in Mount Rainier the event takes place from 3 to 5 p.m. and if you'd like to learn more about her campaign you can go to to CandiceHollingsworth.com.